The single seater racing car is a complex device. It needs to be set up properly and prepared safely in order for you to get the most out of your racing. We are going to look at a Formula Ford car. Formula Ford is a formula which has gone on for 25 years now. For an ideal starting point for the apprentice driver at a price far below that of even Formula 3 racing. A tubular built chassis, 1600cc Cortina GT engine and most of the basic equipment being bought over the counter has put many young men out on the track who would otherwise have never made it. It also provides that close racing that the public expects to see. Formula Ford started back in 1967 and there's been thousands of cars sold worldwide. The basic setup of any single seater is the same as for a Formula Ford. So it's a Van Diemen 1990 car that we're going to look at today. We visited Minister International in Kent, where Wayne Spence will take us through the basic preparation and setup of one of the Marlborough Racing for Spain cars. We'll also take a look at gear ratio changes. We'll also take a look at one or two of the secrets and the things to look out for when buying a second hand car and also how to prepare it ready for the first race. So that's the first thing we'll do. There's quite a few things that you should be careful of when buying a second hand car so let's look at them. Most people who start racing start off with a second hand car. One or two of the fortunate few don't have to, but most people do. Whether it be a Formula Ford car or anything else, there's usually a few things you should be careful of. So we've got this car off the ground and we can show you the basic faults which you might find on any car. Of course it's not always easy to get the car off the ground when you're going to buy it, but uh, it'll help you to know what to look for in the future. It's instantly obvious that there's something not quite right with the front end of this car, for example. And that wouldn't necessarily have been obvious when the car was on the ground. So, let's take the wheels off and the bodywork. Gives it a better chance to have a good look around it. 